Hello YouTube, uh, I'm back with another DVD Blu-ray collection thingy and shit. Uh, I've pretty much all my videos I'm doing nowadays seems to be collection updates. But uh, I will be doing other videos in the future when when I can be asked really. Uh, I've got one more DVD Blu-ray thing which is right now, I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, I've got a VHS update as well that I'm filming, well not I'm filming at the moment because I'm filming this at the moment, but uh, I'm planning to film a VHS update next weekend, so uh, look forward to that. Anyway, I've got some new DVDs and Blu-rays and some, I've got some other stuff, but I probably won't show you that. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, most of the DVDs came from uh, last weekend, where I went to the MCM Expo in London. Uh, and I got loads of anime DVDs, so most of this it will be like anime and manga stuff. I've got some Blu-rays as well down there, which is more mixed. So, so uh, yeah, I'll let's get straight to it. Let's let's not make this another fucking forty-minute video. We'll start with this pile down here, which is all DVDs. I've got uh, Full Metal Alchemist Volume Twelve, The Super Grand Two, episode forty-five to forty-eight. Uh, there are thirteen volumes to this at the moment. I've still got to get five volumes, I think, to complete my collection. Uh, I'll check that in a minute, but basically, this is near the end of the series. Uh, this is one of the later ones by Revelation. Uh, the, uh, the first eight volumes released by a company called MVM, and then Revelation took over. I think, anyway. Uh, this is just this and a leaflet. Uh, I think it was actually meant to come with a booklet as well, but I didn't get that for some reason, probably because HMV is shit. But uh, yeah, so uh, I've not got a full package, but uh, it's very good series. I'm, I saw it on a Anime Central when it was being shown there, and then started collecting DVDs. Just got finished doing that. I've got more Full Metal Alchemist. I've got a uh, six volume six Captured Souls episodes twenty one to twenty four. Uh, this does actually come with a booklet, as you can see here. It's got like character bios and shit in it. I'm not going to show it now. But uh, yeah, that does come with a booklet. Uh, <coughs> oh god, sorry. I've got uh, volume four, the fall of the Ishbal, which uh, doesn't come with doesn't come with a booklet. It just comes with a revelation thingy. And I've got one more volume, which is volume three, uh, equivalent exchange, uh, which is the only PG rated volume. Another revelation, just the revelation reprint, because the original version is by MVM. And this does come with a booklet, so uh, I don't know what's going on with that really. Uh, maybe the HMV that I bought them from was just being a bit shit, so I could book it out, so uh, not really sure. Uh, I don't want to give a fuck about the buckets really anyway. So uh, it's, I'm still on the Full Metal Alchemist theme, but this is the different series. This is the new series that uh, started in 2009, I think. And it's basically a remake of that series down there. It's Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood Part 1, Episodes 1 to 13. Uh, this is released by Manga because they had to deal with Funimation, I think. Or was it Anaplex? It was one of the two, I can't remember which company it was that they deal with. But uh, you don't get any booklet or anything with it, just an episode listing. This was released on Blu ray as well, but uh, they released the first two volumes of this on Blu ray and then stopped doing it because no one bought them. So it'd be a bit of a waste to get the Blu ray when they're not releasing all of it on, on Blu ray. So uh, there's five volumes in total, I think they've released three of them at the moment. I've only got one of them. Uh, moving slightly away from the anime theme, I've got some still animated though. Rocky and Bullwin Clan Friends, the complete season one, four disc special. Uh, this, again, uh, keeping with the themes, not themes in here, keeping with the theme of not continuing releases, the company that released this, Optimum Home Entertainment, decided that no one bought this and they wouldn't bother releasing any other seasons. Which is slightly annoying because uh, they did release all the seasons in America and I do like the packaging on this. It's quite good. Uh, I've not watched, well, I think I watched the, I watched the first three episodes, but uh, I I'm probably one of the only people who actually liked the live action film. But <laughs> yeah, I did like the live action film. Uh, I do like the cartoon as well, though, it's quite good. Uh, but you really have to be like into animation to get it because it's a bit like old fashioned, mainly 60s or something. So uh, yeah, that's the, we're going back to the anime now. Uh, I've got Cromarty High School, this is volume 4, I've got volume 4, volume 3, volume 2, and volume 1. This is the complete series, released by ADV Films, who don't exist anymore. 
Um, this is like a Japanese comedy series. The episodes are only 10 minutes each, I think. So it's quite short. There's like 9 episodes on each disc or something. But it's a very funny series if you haven't seen it. And I do like the design of the DVDs as well. You get a booklet of each one. You have like uh, character information, sketches and shit. And uh, all of the, the all the discs are designed like records. So that's a nice little touch. So yeah, if you like anime and you haven't seen this yet, then definitely check it out. Right, next one's a big one. I've got a uh, Bar Zephon, which is an anime series similar to Neon Genesis Evangelion, if you've seen that, but this is a bit different. So this is by ADV Films again. Uh, and this is 26 episodes plus a movie, the motion picture, which is right here. I've got the motion picture. I've got volume 7, volume 6, volume 5, volume 4, volume 3, volume 2, and where do you go from that? Volume 1. Uh, so yeah, I've got all these for £17.50 from some marker seller at the Expo. It's quite a good series, it's not brilliant, it gets quite boring in the middle, but uh, it's worth checking out if you like Gundam or Evangelion or any mecha series. Except obviously more so Evangelion because it's more of the, like, the mindfuck sci-fi genre. Now this next box set is a 10 disc box set, some really 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 shit looking French animation that I got, actually got this for free when I went into the x they gave me a goodie bag full of like, posters, marks and this crap and they also gave me a free 10 disc DVD box set of some show called Excalibur which uh, looks not very good to be honest, it's released by Anchor Bay who are one of the uh, one of the partners of the Expo so that's probably why they're giving it away for free and look at the sheer graphics on those screenshots to at least PlayStation 2 level uh, for a show made in 2000 and f 2002, second series was, you'd see the was slightly more advanced then. So uh, you'd expect more than the fucking thing out of the case. Uh, does come in nice packaging though. Uh, it's got 10 discs. It's got like a digipack sort of thing going on. Episode descriptions on the other sides of the cases. And it's just a lot of... There's a lot of care gone into this, so uh, the series might be good, I don't know, I should try watching it before I start calling this shit. But uh, yeah, I'm saying the word shit a lot today, aren't I? Uh, I can't get this fucking thing back into the case, there you go. I'm going, yeah, yeah, I've done it. It's back in the case, thank God. Right, that pile is just about to fall down, but I think I'll be able to make the last few DVDs before it does fall down on me. Uh, the next film is Step Brothers, which is a stand standard film, it's not box sets or anything. It's a Will Ferrell film from uh, two, 2009, I think, 2008. Yeah, it's a comedy film. Uh, I got this from a CEX in Liverpool for £3.50. Uh, my mates were going on about this, calling it the funniest film ever made or some, something. There's nowhere near, but uh, it's very funny if you haven't seen it. Uh, if, if you like Will Ferrell, then it's probably one of his best films. And there is an extended edition of it, but I haven't seen that because I couldn't find it anywhere. So, yeah, this extended edition that goes on for about eight minutes more. And, but I'm not really sure what's, what's more about it when I've seen it. So, yeah, give it a try for like comedy films. Uh, got more box sets, HBO box sets this time, uh, Home Box Office. This is the third series of Curb Your Enthusiasm, which is a comedy series if you haven't seen it. It's very, very funny. Uh, the show on Sky Atlantic, I think and more for occasionally on Sunday nights, but I think the, the only show on like the first few series. But uh, yeah, it's basically like a fairly down-to-earth comedy show about the retired writer of Seinfeld and basically how fucking awkward he is. <laughs> it's got 10 episodes each series, I think it's up to the 8th series now. Uh, it's a HBO series, so there's a lot, I mean, I mean a lot of swearing and sex and stuff in it because all HBO series have to be like Look, they're all jam-packed with shit that you can get past the American censors because they don't have to follow any, they don't have to follow any regulations or anything. And they've got another HBO series down here. This is the third series of The Wire, which is a drama. It's shown on BBC. It was shown on BBC Two over here, but I don't think they've repeated it since. Uh, but this is a very good series. I've not actually seen this series yet. I've only seen the first two. So I'm looking forward to catching up on these because I think there's five seasons overall. 
Well, you got five discs, you got audio commentary on quite a lot of the episodes, and the cover art and stuff is quite well done. So, do you know, overall, a very, very nice package. Uh, I'm, oh, right, I'm going to stop this before time from fumble around with this. Now, on to the second pile. I've got a Millennium Actress, which is a film that I've not seen yet, but it's meant to be quite good, directed by uh, Satoshi Kone, who directed Paranoia Agents, Perfect Blue, and some other films that I forgot the name of. Uh, he's dead now, unfortunately, but he was like halfway through making a film that they're apparently continuing with, so I'm looking forward to that. This is if uh, apparently this release is a bit shit because uh, they've not got proper translated subtitles on it. It's all based off the English dub, so it's not not the same script as as it's meant to be in the subtitles. But I usually watch English dubs anyway, so I don't really care. So I'm looking forward to watching that. Uh, next film is Death Note R: Realized Visions of a God, which is like an, the director video edit of the Death Note TV series. Uh, which I've seen all of. Uh, it's basically the first half of the series turned into like a two-hour film. There was a second movie, which was the second half of the series, obviously, but uh, I've not seen that. Uh, I don't really, I don't really see the point in getting this really because it's basically just if you've seen the TV series, you've seen this. It's just like a shorter version of the TV series, basically. But uh, there's some, there's very small amounts of original animation put in, but it's not really worth watching. Uh, now I got these box sets for £10 each from the manga stall at the expo. This is Naruto Unleashed Complete Series 8, which comes in a digipack sort of thing as opposed to most of the box sets which come in. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but this has got episodes 183 to 208. So there's a shitload of episodes in here. Uh, it's got six discs all on here. Uh, they did show this on Jetix in the UK Kids Channel. But uh, t uh, they, they only got up to like series 5 or something because they edited it to shit. They did, they did like 5 minutes worth of footage out of each episode because it's not exactly family friendly. It's quite bloody at times, so I uh, don't know what the hell they're showing on Jetix for. Uh, this is what I was talking about how they normally package the box set. They, they put two of the individual volumes into like a slipcase sort of thing. This is series 7. Which is still the filler. The, the series six, seven, eight, and nine are all filler, which is aren't, which is not very good compared to the earlier se earlier seasons. Uh, but uh, it's still quite good. I don't see the massive hatred that everyone always gives to it. And uh, there's some entertainment to be had if you're watching filler episodes. Again, you have three discs per set, and uh, I've, I've not seen any of these yet. I've seen the first six series, but I've not seen series seven. Or series eight or nine, and I've not actually got series eight and nine. Not, no, I've got series eight. I just showed you down there, but I've not got series nine on DVD. That's the one. So I need to get series nine, and I need to get series three as well because that broke on me for some reason. But I did get series six, uh, which comes in the digi pack again. Again, six discs, standard stuff. Now, on to more manga stuff. Uh, nearly against the Blu-rays, but I'll show you all this first. Uh, Tamagotchi the movie. Uh, if you weren't aware that Tamagotchi had its own movie, you are now. Uh, it's an anime film. I'm not sure what year this was made in. It was released over here in 2009. Oh, it was 2007 this was made in. But uh, yeah, this is... I skipped through this. Uh, I might watch it in full on Sunday, but I got this for £1 from the Expo so far. It can't be that bad, can it? But I skipped through it and it looks abs absolute shit, to be honest with you. Uh, it's basically the Care Bears movie, except even sh even more sugary, if you can believe that. I mean, look at the bloody artwork on the inside. You can't really get much uh, cuter than that, really. I'm not sure I'll be able to handle the cuteness in this one, but uh, I'll give it a go. This is another £1 DVD jobby, Panda Go Panda. Now, this is another cutesy type of thing, but this is actually... Uh, created by Hayao Miyazaki, who did Spirited Away and My Neighbor Toto. So uh, this should be quite good. Uh, contains one scene of smoking. How, how fucking dare they put a scene of smoking in a children's cartoon. Uh, uh, directed by... No, not directed. Uh, created by a company called Tokyo Movie Shincha, who are an incredibly famous Japanese animation company. But I don't know why, because most of the animation is completely terrible. But seeing as this is made in the 70s, then uh, I'm not sure it will be that bad. 
Uh, this one, I've got no idea what the hell this is. Mega Man Star Force EM Wave Change on air, episodes 1 to 13. Uh, basically, it's some cartoon based on the Mega Man games. That looks absolutely fucking nothing like Mega Man for starters. And uh, I'm not really sure. It doesn't actually list Capcom anywhere on the box. I mean, it does down there in really, really small print. So I'm not sure whether this is like part of the Mega Man canon or not. And I'm not sure whether there's only 13 episodes or whether they just couldn't be asked to release anymore because no one's buying this one. Uh, they were selling this for like two quid at the Xbox why I bought it. Uh, this next one is an old VHS classic from Manga. Manga was originally released on Manga Video. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a quite a good film. It's quite o over the top. Uh, it's got that 80s vibe about it, if you know what I mean. And this is another Tokyo movie since you think. Uh, it's rated 12 on DVD, which is weird because it was rated PG on video and they both run exactly the same length, so I'm not sure whether maybe there's like two seconds of changes between the two versions, but this DVD version is probably more hardcore than the VHS one. And we're getting down to the last few DVDs now. Uh, this one is Mobile Suit Gundam Movie 1. This is another DVD that I got free at the expo, so uh, apparently this is meant to be that good. But uh, it seems a bit long, 144 minutes of nothing but bloody robots. Doesn't really sound good to me when the animation is quite 70s and primitive. But I'll give it a go. And the last DVD is one I got for £1 at the Expo. It's Astro Boy Greatest Astro Adventures. Uh, this, it says manga on the box, but it's actually released by Anchor Bay. They're just using the manga name because it's an anime. And this was, of course, the first ever anime ever made. But uh, I, it wasn't this particular version that was that old. This is uh, like a more recent version from like from the seventies, I think. But it's, it's all right if you're a bit, a bit bland. But uh, if you're just an anime, then it's pretty much a given. Like, you gotta watch this because it's one of the classics. And so uh, that's all the DVDs onto the Blu-rays now. We're gonna try and be quick because my song only on bloody seventeen minutes. Uh, this is Tron Legacy Double Play, uh, Blu-ray and DVD. Not the 3D version, it's 2D version, but uh, I got this for Easter, I think. And this is a this is a bloody good film. Uh, I thought it was great. I saw it like five times, I'm stupid on the cinema. And uh, if, you, if you haven't seen the original Tron, you don't really need to see the original Tron to get Tron Legacy, so you can skip that if you want to. And I do like this movie rewards card, very nice and shiny. You can use that code if you want to, it won't work because I've already used it. The next Blu-ray that I've got is an American one, Region 1, if you can find that somewhere. So, uh, well, ABC, same thing. This is Alice in Wonderland, the 60th anniversary edition. Uh, I got this from the Toys R Us in Times Square, New York, when I was in America with school. Uh, this, I don't get American Blu-rays, like, if you, if you take the slip cover off. Uh, they're really, really slim. I don't understand that. Why do they have to be slim? I, UK Blu-ray cases are quite thick. Much thicker than this anyway. Why am I zooming in? I've ever zoomed in the entire video. I think I have as well. But uh, yeah, uh, it's a Disney release. It's, it's got the Blu-ray and the DVD in it. If I can get this disc open, you've got to like release the flap first, and then take the cover open. I've got a movie rewards card, uh, which if any Americans are watching, then you can use that code if you want, because I can't use it because I've not got an American movie rewards account. Uh, I've got a UK one, unfortunately these codes won't work on it. But there's a DVD, I don't know what that black square's for, and Blu-ray there. It's region free, so it does work on my PS3. And uh, I've got another American Blu-ray, which I'll show you in a minute. And this is the American Blu-ray, Tangled 3D, another Disney one, this is the 3D version, it's got 3D, 2D, DVD, digital copy. Very nice lenticular cover going on there. It's got four discs, this cost uh, $30 I think, which is quite good. And uh, I got this because it, I couldn't really pass it up, it's a great film. And uh, it, it was about like a month and a half before it came out in the UK, so I had to get it, didn't I? It's region free again, so it works on the PS3. And uh, this is a standard thick case because you can't fit four discs in that, in that slim thing. Uh, I've got this open. There's a blank thing there, don't get a point to that. Uh, this is the digital copy, and I don't think this will work since I'm in the UK. I think it needs to be on American iTunes to get it. 
Uh, that's the DVD which doesn't work because that's blocked to region 1 only I think. But the Blu-ray does work, uh, I've, I've zoomed in again. Uh, the Blu-ray does work, that's region 3. 2D Blu-ray does work and the 3D Blu-ray does work but I can't watch it because I've not got a 3D telly. So uh, I will get a 3D telly in the future sometime when when I can when it's like five or something. So uh, that'll a future proof of me collection by getting this really. I'm not sure whether I've already showed this to you, but I, I might mind putting in the older collection, but I'm not sure. This is the Bambi double play diamond edition. Uh, I was waiting for this release for years and years and years because it's my favourite Disney film. But and they finally bought it out. And it's a bit disappointing to be honest. Uh, there are many special features. And what special features there are are all copied basically from the DVD release. There's very minute number of new special features on there. And this comes to the DVD and only one Blu-ray. It's the first Disney Diamond Edition that doesn't come with two Blu-rays as well. So basically they, they weren't giving me the release that I wanted from Bambi. So I got a bit annoyed with that. But uh, it's a release. It, look, it looks bloody good in high def. So not all bad. It's worth the 15 quid that I paid for it. I got this from the Expo for a father. This is Blood the Last Vampire. The animated one, not the live action one, which is completely terrible. This is the manga release. I think this was manga's first Blu ray, actually. Uh, this is a late 90s, early 2000s thing, I think. Uh, it uses a lot of digital CGI and stuff, so it's a bit more fancy than most other animes. Uh, I've, I saw it on VHS, I've not seen it on Blu-ray yet, but I've not even skipped through it like I usually do. Usually when I buy Blu-rays, I immediately put it in, skip through it, just see what the picture quality is like, because I'm a nerd. But uh, yeah, I don't know what this looks like, hopefully it'll be good. Uh, and I've got this for Father as well. This is Professor Layton and the Eternal Diva, which is based on the Nintendo DS game, Professor Layton and the uh, Village of some shit or something, I don't know. can't remember its exact name, but uh, this is a manga release. Well, it's actually a manga release of a Kaze license. They're the ones who like licensed it, just manga released it, and uh, contains very mild violence. Don't know the hell that means. I've not seen this yet. Uh, I'll, I think I watch this tonight actually. Uh, this is quite a good deal for Father. This is quite a recent release as well. It's only released like January, I think. So uh, yes, yeah, quite good. Uh, the next film. I'm moving away from the animes now. This is Crank 2 High Voltage, which I got because my local Asda was selling it for six quid. I've not seen it, but I've been I've been meaning to see it for ages because I saw the first Crank. I thought it was absolutely brilliant because it was just non-stop violence and action. So uh, I've got the sequel for six quid at an Asda. So it contains frequent strong violence, gore, sex, and very strong language, which sounds good to me. So I'm really looking forward to watching this. Uh, so it should be good. Uh, there's a lot of talk on like Blu-ray forums about uh, this not working in PS3, so um, I hope that doesn't count for my PS3. The next one that I got is Surf's Up on Blu-ray. I got this from a CX for six quid, I think. Uh, this is quite a good film, uh, but uh, if I were you, I wouldn't get this on Blu-ray because most of the film is actually done in is animated in like sort of handy cam or sort of camcorder style, so it doesn't really. It's quite blurry, it's deliberately blurry, so basically, the, what what good shots do I have are brilliant on, in high def, but uh, I'd, I'd just get on DVD if I were you. Getting near the end of the list now, uh, got Word Wild Things Are, which if you haven't seen this, it's a really good film, but no one, no one went to see it at the cinema for some reason, it was, it was only, I think, hang on, if I remember correctly, it was only on in our cinema for like two days or something and then he took it off immediately because literally no one was going to watch it. Which I thought made very little sense because when I went to see it, it was on the uh, Tuesday night I think I went to see it and it was absolutely packed. There were no kids there even though it was like the afternoon, it was all adults because it's not really a kids film if you get what, if you get me drift. It's, it's family friendly uh, uh, of course because you know look at the cover, it's family friendly but uh, it's more aimed at adults than kids. It's more like sort of childhood nostalgia thing. I would give it a watch for you, but uh, it's a shame that I didn't do do better in the box office. Uh, another film that didn't do very well in the box office is March of the Penguins, which is a documentary as to and Morgan Freeman. Obviously, uh, this is on a limited release in the UK. I think you don't really expect documentaries to do very well at all. Uh, 
I thought this is really interesting. I, I thought the Blu-ray release was disappointing though, because you'd expect it to be brilliant, like a documentary and stuff. But uh, it's not very good. It's a bit blurry. It's a bit like washed out. It's don't really look that much different from the DVD because it's got the DVD as well. So uh, yeah, I won't bother the Blu-ray this either. Really, almost coming to the end. Uh, I've got Legend of the Guardians: The Elves of Gahul, the Triple Play 2D version, not the 3D version. I did see this in 3D at the cinema, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, if you haven't seen this, you really, really should. It's one of my favourite films of last year. Uh, get this open. It comes with a digital copy, which I haven't redeemed yet. And uh, I think that doubles as a DVD as well. And uh, this is the Blu-ray, which is a bit crap because it doesn't even have, it doesn't even have a title on it. And uh, also the special features are a bit lacking. I thought I was expecting it to be at least like a making of featurette with Zack Snyder and all that, but there's like there's nothing all on. So I was really disappointed by that. Warner Brothers, you can fuck off really because none of your releases are any good. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, enough of the company ladies you now. This is another cheap Blu-ray from me local Asda. This was five pounds. Red, still on, still dangerous, still got it. Uh, I've I wanted to see this at the cinema, but it wasn't it wasn't on for long enough. There were too many films being released on the same day, because I think Red was released on the same day as Paranormal Activity 2, Legend of the Guardians, and Africa United, which I also wanted to see. So I didn't get a chance to see this. So yeah, I bought it on Blu-ray and uh, I watched it and I thought it was it was quite good, but uh, it could have been better. It was a bit it was a bit uh, bland in parts and the ending wasn't really that good. Uh, uh, John Malkovich was probably the best star in it. He was he was brilliant. Uh, all the other actors are good as well. Uh, it was a bit forgettable really. I'd give it a rent if I were you. Uh, another cheap old five pound Blu-ray here. Uh, buried with Ryan Reynolds, uh, a lot of people dismiss this because it's not it's not really that interesting. Uh, it's basically some guy trapped in a box for about 90 minutes really, but it's actually a really good film. Uh, really, really creepy, freaked me the fuck out, uh, and it, it's, it manages to do a lot in 90 minutes with just like some guy in a box. So I would really give this a try if you're interested in like horrors or thrillers. Definitely give this a shot. And the last bird I've got to show you is Fantastic Mr. Fox. Uh, I've got this in a CEX, which is why the box is quite tatty. But this comes with a digital copy and Blu-ray. Don't come with a DVD. Uh, and this is also a really good film. Uh, I think this did quite well in the box office, actually. Uh, this is another one aimed probably more towards adults who read the book as a child than it is towards children who have never read the book. But uh, obviously it's family friendly. Uh, I don't agree with the American accents. All the main actors are American, which I thought was a bit crap because you know it's a Voldal book, British. But it's a minor complaint to give it a try if you want. And that's the entire collection. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed this 28 minute long bloody video. I'll be back next week with a VHS update. Goodbye from me.